Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And today, if you don't mind, I would very much like to talk to you about a very special work. And in fact, it is a work that is part of a very large universe, a very large body of work, a really uh, monumental work of art. And indeed, it is with respect to this work of art that I've had the great privilege and great honor in the past have been able to talk about in the form of a number of videos uh, to a certain capacity or to a certain extent anyway. And so what I propose to do today, my dear friends, is to begin a discussion about yet another aspect of this really monumental work of art. And if it's okay with you, my dear friends, let us continue our discussions going forward uh, in this respect. This work of art that I'm referring to is known as Twin Peaks. And as some of you may know, over the course of a number of videos in the past, we have talked about the pilot, and we've talked about various aspects with respect to the pilot, some differing versions as well, as well as each of the episodes in season one, and a discussion on each of the episodes in season two, as well as a, a, a series on the film, which is directed by David Lynch, called Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. And if you're interested in some of those video discussions, my dear friends, you can always, of course, check those out in separate videos on this YouTube channel. And in uh, continuation of those discussions or carrying on with those discussions, what I thought would be uh, the best way to go, and in fact, the way forward that I would very much like to do is to next talk to you about a very special work, which came about around the year 2014, 2014. And it is referred to as Twin Peaks, the Missing Pieces. And just in case you're interested, you can find Twin Peaks, the Missing Pieces, for example, as say a supplement feature that's included with the Criterion Collection release of the film Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. So once again, my dear friends, I propose that we talk about Twin Peaks, the missing pieces, and we can talk about each piece along the way. And after we have had a discussion or just shared our thoughts and comments about the missing pieces, then we can move forward in earnest. So uh, if that's okay with you, my dear friends, I propose today to begin or to announce the discussion series with regard to Twin Peaks, the missing pieces. Once again, you can find Twin Peaks, the missing pieces, for example, as say a supplement feature to the Criterion Collection release of Twin Peaks Firewalk with me, as well as in other areas, in case you're interested. So uh, also before I move on, I should say that uh, just as a matter of uh, course, or maybe in the context of one's own Twin Peaks journey, in particular, and especially for those who are watching Twin Peaks for the first time, my strong, strong suggestion, my dear friends, is that uh, before you watch Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces, I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you first watch uh, the first seasons or the you know, pilot episode and then seasons one and season two of Twin Peaks and then watch Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me. And then after you have watched all of those episodes in the film and the pilot, etc., after you have watched those in that order, pilot, season one, season two, Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me, the film, then my strong suggestion would be then to move on to watch Twin Peaks, the missing pieces. Um, and I say that because once again, uh, for the benefit of those who have yet to finish or to or for the benefit of those who are still watching Twin Peaks for the first time you know there are a number of scenes in Twin Peaks Fire Walk I'm excuse me there are a number of scenes or a number of pieces in Twin Peaks the missing pieces that are directly relevant to Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me so in fact I think a a uh, a a working say knowledge or understanding of what Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me is is a kind of uh, it, it's kind of best case situation for approaching Twin Peaks, Twin Peaks, the missing pieces, excuse me. And indeed also uh, knowing what happens in the pilot and seasons one and seasons two uh, will also benefit one's viewing of Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me. So it has this type of cyclical uh, fashion about it. So once again, my strong recommendation is 
uh, in terms of the order, you know, watch Twin Peaks, uh, the pilot, and then season one and season two, and then Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. And then you can move on to Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces for, I think, a really robust and, and enjoyable and uh, quite fascinating uh, ride through this world of Twin Peaks and specifically Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. Now, also, I should point out, too, that Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces is directly relevant to Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. In other words, Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces is indeed a collection or gathering of deleted scenes or extensions or other bits and pieces here and there that were, that were otherwise maybe planned to be part of Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me or that were otherwise integrated into the film Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me, but for one reason or another were excised or left out or deleted or altered or edited out. And so what we have rem remaining is Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me, the film. But as a type of echo or as a type of, say, supplement or as, say, a further embellishment or embodiment of what the, the full-bodied experience of Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me is or could have been, uh, we have as a type of illustration of that this body of work which is Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces. So uh, just to give further context, Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces does not have any scenes directly, say, uh, excised from a season television season episode or anything like that, but rather specifically tailored to or in reference to or with respect to scenes or deleted scenes or alterations, etc., with regards specifically to the film Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. So in that way, Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces is a type of of glorious supplement feature uh, that is part of Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me, the uh, film viewing experience. And uh, also it's a gathering of separate scenes, missing pieces that are in total approximately 90 minutes or so. So it's its own type of feature length supplement feature or in in a lot of ways it could be seen as a type of of uh, alternate reality universe film uh in parallel to twin peaks fire walk with me or or and i'll i'm trying trying to be as uh, i'll try to be as very careful here as possible or there might be some instances or nuances or details that in fact might suggest not necessarily an alternate universe pattern but perhaps something that is more linear that might find, say, a through line to any future or subsequent Twin Peaks stories that might come down the road. Let me put it that way. And so in that way, I think Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces is a very exciting and truly breathtaking work that I think can serve on its own as a type of, of a curiosity piece and then some also as a revelation of various secrets or bits and pieces that were always part of the rumor, that were always part of the ether, always part of the mystique and allure of Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me during the years from the initial release, 1992, uh, to the time of the release of Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces 2014. So that's a, a lot of years uh, in that space. And so I'll, I'll share a little bit of comments about that uh, momentarily. But well, that is a general gist, or that's my way of trying to express the what I view as the context of Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces. And from my vantage point, I find the viewing of Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces to be essential, absolutely essential for my own Twin Peaks journey. Whenever I embark upon it or re-embark upon my own Twin Peaks journey, Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces is... Uh, the place I go almost immediately after I finish, say, a rewatch of Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. It, uh, they almost they go hand in hand uh, uh, for me in a manner of speaking. Now, I should say, too, that it is possible also to regard Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me without any type of knowledge base of Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces. You know, for some people, and I think one way of viewing Twin Peaks as well, or Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces, is that it doesn't necessarily have to be seen as a type of essential body of work in order to be able to understand or appreciate or enjoy any of the other series or episodes or parts that might come before or after. In other words, it doesn't need to be regarded as wholly essential viewing in terms of a Twin Peaks journey. So Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces could be regarded by some as being uh, supplemental but not essential. And if you feel that way, and I completely uh, respect that view, I completely respect that view. And, and I think, um, again, not 
speaking uh, too much ahead of ourselves, but uh, when we get to a discussion of, say, Twin Peaks, uh, the further or, or uh, subsequent uh, parts or stories, uh, oftentimes referred to as Twin Peaks The Return, uh, it might be said that one can watch Twin Peaks The Return, for example, and not necessarily have to rely on a knowledge of what happened in St. Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces. So uh, for some, uh, it could be seen as uh, curious and a supplemental but not essential viewing. And yet for others, it might be seen as uh, essential viewing. In other words, that certain aspects of Twin Peaks, the missing pieces, reveal points or reveal parts or reveal aspects or dynamics that actually have a type of flowering effect or that have a type of illuminating effect that reveal certain details or secrets that might have been revealed in, or might have been hinted at in, say, uh, uh, previous uh, stories of Twin Peaks, including Twin Peaks Firewalk With Me, and or things that we see in Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces might in fact inform what we might see in future parts or future episodes or future stories. And so from that vantage point, it could also be seen as essential viewing. So again, it really depends on how you view Twin Peaks. And as we know from watching Twin Peaks, we know that there are so many ways of watching Twin Peaks, so many ways of enjoying Twin Peaks, so many ways of just truly living the world that is Twin Peaks. And so that's, this is uh, Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces is yet another window into that myriad viewpoint, uh, various uh, perspective possibilities of Twin Peaks. And that's one of the great joys and beauties of, uh, of this of this cinematic and television and uh, uh, super, super uh, work of art that is Twin Peaks. So uh, from my point of view, from my vantage point, I do regard it as being uh, very essential. And I can see it both as being essential and also a linear and also alternate universe at the same time. And as we've discussed in part in our previous discussions of Twin Peaks, uh, we have seen one possibility of looking at Twin Peaks as a type of collection or gathering of, of many different parallel stories that may or may not be happening within the same space or the same continuum. Uh, and or maybe they are and they aren't. And maybe that or maybe from a certain vantage point, that's uh, the, the, the question is not whether they exist in the same or different continuum, but whether uh, they, they can uh, coexist uh, simultaneously and uh, in contradiction at the same time, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So there are these, all these wonderful, weird and twisty ways of, of viewing all these various stories all at once. And I think the addition of the Twin Peaks, the missing pieces material as made available through, say, various releases of Twin Peaks, such as Twin Peaks Firewalk with me, the Criterion release, I think uh, is just uh, yet another way to appreciate and enjoy and ponder and consider and interpret and reinterpret what it is we're dealing with here. And so any opportunity for a type of reevaluation or or, uh, excite or, or re uh, considering of uh, this wonderful work of art, I think is, is uh, a truly uh, lovely thing indeed. So... Uh, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of Twin Peaks, and I'm a big fan of Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces. Uh, let me say then from that perspective, too, that I remember, I remember the period uh, you know, around the time that Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me ended. And uh, during this period, after 1992 in the 90s, you know, there was no, there was no guarantee there was no, there was nothing that would say to us, oh, there will be another Twin Peaks story in the future. Nothing like that was there. And so uh, for a lot of years, in terms of TV series and films, I mean, the, the last thing that we would see would be the ending moments of Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. And so uh, in that way, uh, I mean, that was it uh, for the longest time. Now, over the course of the years, say, leading up to 2014, there were always these rumors that, or, or ideas or, or pieces of information, knowledge that would be floating, floating in the air, floating into the night, as it were. And uh, this also co coincided with the emergence of the internet, the World Wide Web uh, in the 90s. And so with the emergence of the World Wide Web and with the emergence of, say, fan sites and things that would be uh, extensions or continuations of fanzines, etc., uh, there would be the further uh, spreading of, say, rumors and information. Now, I was never, and I don't consider myself to be in any way a type of uh, Twin Peaks expert. You know, on the contrary, I, I, I'm very, very bad when it comes to 
uh, uh, having a knowledge base when it comes to the history of Twin Peaks. And so that also includes my perspectives during this period, uh, after 1992 and before 2013, 2014. And so I was, uh, I'm, I'm very bad when it comes to the details, but I can speak from my own personal experience in that uh, as I was uh, getting more and more into the internet weeds of uh, what could have been in terms of Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me, I, I began to get information to about uh, certain scenes that may have been uh, left on the cutting room fo floor, in a manner of speaking. Uh, it would be sometimes possible to find uh, things out there that were purported to be the actual, the, the original script of Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me. And if you read that, you'd see that there would be uh, things and scenes that wasn't that weren't in the final film, and so that left people uh, wondering what were these things that are rumored to have been part of, or maybe considered to be part of Twin Peaks Fire Walk with Me, but ended up not being included. So, what are these things? What are these uh, uh, pieces, as it were? I mean, are there were there scenes that were planned to be included but that weren't? Uh, and what, it, could that be a reason why, when we watch Twin Peaks Fire Walk with Me, the final film? As great as it is, we also we are also left wondering what happened to the characters of the world of Twin Peaks that we didn't see in the film Twin Peaks Fire Walk with Me. Because as you know from Twin Peaks Fire Walk with Me, there are a number of characters that we know that we meet, but there are a number of characters that we knew from the series that we don't see in Twin Peaks Fire Walk with Me, the film. And so, a lot of those questions did linger. You know, what what were there any plans for any scenes in the film to include any of these? Uh, characters that we did not meet in the final film version. Uh, what were some uh, ways in which the film would be uh, continuing uh, or trying to answer some unresolved questions from the series, etc.? Uh, were there uh, things that were originally planned in the script uh, that might address those? Or were there any other expressions or extensions, etc., etc., etc.? So the, the rumor mill and the allure and the lore and the myth of Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me uh, that emerged or coincided or was extended by uh, uh, the, say, the advent of, say, fanzines and uh, this great strong network of fans and the internet uh, and the emergence thereof, etc. And really f uh, 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 just created, I think, this great uh, uh, puzzle box, uh, at least in my head, of what could have been or what might have been, or what might be, uh, but was never. And so, uh, in those maybe unanswered question type of way, Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me uh, uh, was what it was, as great as it was and as great as it is. But it just was. It, it was uh, it, these maybe a lot of unanswered questions or a lot of what-ifs uh, that were uh, left uh, pondered but never fully uh, realized or fulfilled and this was the feeling uh, uh, in the air it didn't take away from the allure or the the beauty that was a watching of Twin Peaks Fire Walk with me but it was just part of the myth or the allure it was just uh, growing and growing and growing and and for a while uh, it was felt that or I felt that these would be questions that would pre forever remaining unresolved so uh, but all that changed when the news arrived uh, that something called Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces could be, uh, was going to be released around circa 2014. And so this was a bit of a curiosity. I mean, that's, that's uh, putting it mildly, of course. This was a huge thing, absolutely huge. And uh, it was like the, 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 it was one of the most exciting things to hear this news and uh, the only thing that could top the excitement of hearing the news that this thing called Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces, which would be purported to be a collection of these scenes that were deleted scenes from the film Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. The only thing that could top the excitement of hearing that news for me would be actually watching Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces itself. And so I remember ultimately being able at last to watch Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces on a physical media release a little bit later after the fact, but I was able uh, at last to catch up with it. And I watched each of the scenes, each of the missing pieces, and just realizing, oh my goodness, these are scenes that I had heard about, rumored, seen written about, maybe pondered about, or maybe left lingered, and, and maybe as part of 
some kind of original script that uh, ended up not being uh, the fully formed final film. Again, as great as the final film is, and as some of you know from the discussions, I really, really, I really love Twin Peaks Firewall because I think it's one of the great, great cinematic achievements uh, uh, that I've ever had the, the great pleasure of watching. Um, uh, but uh, to have that excitement of Twin Peaks Firewall with me in my heart as I was watching Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces and, and recalling all these things that I had heard, again, not even being this uh, Twin Peaks expert like other great Twin Peaks experts are, uh, but given my own limited knowledge and, and database, uh, knowledge base with regard to Twin Peaks Firewalk With Me and all the history and uh, the, the myth of, of what could have been, given my own limited uh, knowledge, watching Twin Peaks The Missing Pieces was like a, it was like a, I don't know, like, uh, heavens opening up or uh, the, uh, 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 the, the choir singing. And it was, it was a, a it, was, it was a breathtaking thing. It was a really breathtaking thing. And it was a type of, of mind numbing experience for me because there's so much information that was, was packed in and it just, it just hit you like a, like a bolt of electricity when you watched it. I, I, watching Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces for the first time was one of the most incredible experiences that I've had in my recent, say, cinema uh, film journey. And it's a it's experience that I will never forget. And I, by the end of it, I was, uh, I was on cloud nine. I was, uh, you know, I was uh, truly, truly um, uh, happy beyond belief. I was shocked and stunned, and I there were more questions that I was left with. I was like, "What's going on here? This, I think I know what I'm watching, but I don't know." And uh, and of course, that that is a type of tumult and chaos that is also uh, going hand in hand with the beauty and joy of watching Twin Peaks. That's such one of the great things about Twin Peaks. It uh, it uh, satisfies and it frustrates at the same time. That's such a wonderful thing about watching Twin Peaks. It has that uh, that dynamic about it, which is which makes you want to watch it again and again. It's one of the great things about it. It's so hypnotic in that way. And the same is true definitely for the Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces. By the time I'd finished it, I was left numb and I couldn't... Some... There were a lot of things I just couldn't believe I saw, and and uh, and a lot of it too was a type of warmth of character and those character moments that are again part of Twin Peaks: The Missing Pieces, and we'll talk a little bit about those. There were parts of it that made me laugh in a type of joyful return because there were some people that we'd seen that were um, uh, well. Let me just say that it, it, they some of the scenes really put a big smile on my face. Uh, there was uh, some scenes that put smile, smile, a uh, smile on my face in terms of joy, and then yet there are other scenes that shall always say, put a big smile on my face, not for joy but in in fear. <laughs> so smiles for joy and smiles for fear and smiles for fright, and that's a little that's a little nod to something that we might see in Twin Peaks: The Missing Pieces again. For, in case you're interested, we'll talk a little bit more in detail. Uh, about each of the pieces as we go along. But uh, suffice to say that it left me just oh so wanting more. And I was just immediately just thrust back into the world of Twin Peaks. I was left alive and excited once again for Twin Peaks uh, Fire Walk With Me. I watched Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me again. And it was an interesting thing. You know, I, I saw Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me in a different perspective, but it was still the same film. Because I love the film as it is. I love the film as it is, but it felt like, like an alternative take, or I felt like it had that it, it was occupying this interesting nether sphere world of 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 loving it as it was, but then having the knowledge or having the experience of seeing the missing pieces. And it had that interesting, uh similar yet different feel. Uh, in terms of a coexistence of these uh, various uh stories that we'd seen in Twin Peaks Far Walk with me and also glimpses that we'd seen in Twin Peaks, the missing pieces by this point. And so, uh, and it just left me you know, wanting uh, just to go back into the world of Twin, Twin Peaks. And wouldn't you know that some years after this, we would get some more uh, interesting developments in the world of Twin Peaks. But ah, that is a story or that is a discussion for another day. In the meantime, my dear friends, let us, you and I, if it's okay, 
continue on with a discussion of Twin Peaks, The Missing Pieces. So my proposal is let us go through each of the pieces, one piece at a time. And so what this is, is please, again, if you're interested, please watch along uh, with me uh, each of the missing pieces. And we'll talk about them one piece at a time. And so if you're interested, my dear friends, let us begin our discussion in earnest. <laughs> 